What is going on guys and welcome back. So today is Chelsea versus West Ham United of the 2018-19 Premier League season. Now, uh, obviously we've just come for a massive loss against Everton. It's so frustrating because Everton have gone and beat Arsenal yesterday 1-0 with a uh, Jaggy Elka goal. So Everton's got the three points, which is so frustrating for us because that puts us four points away from 10th position. So even if we were to do the impossible and go to Chelsea today and win, it's just, oh, it's so, so annoying really. So, you know, you've got to kind of, you've got to walk into this game and try to hope that you can... Uh, try and get something out of it but last year we had an absolutely fantastic result against Chelsea just about to get on the train now to uh, get there honestly it's going to be a tough one but it is my favourite fixture of the season going Chelsea away under the lights I couldn't have asked for a better time to play them I wish it wasn't a Saturday late kickoff but I'm happy it's under the lights it's going to be a good one tonight I'm very nervous for it I'm hoping we can get something. We need, we desperately need to pick up something now, especially because Everton obviously picking up points and our team's around us. We don't need to fall any further down. We're safe in the lead. The players are going to play up. And hopefully, we're going to start with Anderson today. Let's get to the game now and let's do it. I'm going to say a 1 1. I'm going to go for a repeat of last year or maybe the other way around. Maybe we'll go up 1 0 up first and they'll get an equaliser. So, just I'm a bit indifferent. Obviously, Chelsea come on in good form at home, but a lot of controversy in the dressing rooms going on with Hazard deciding if he's going to be leaving the club or not, and other players that could be going off to Real Madrid and big clubs potentially so it's a bit all over the place but we're going to find out let's get to Sam Bridge and let's do it I cannot wait let's go Alright guys, I'm in the ground now at Stamford Bridge. I tell you what, I can't deny it, it is actually my favourite ground in the league, as much as I hate to say it, because they're one of our bigger rivals in this Premiership. But it is one of my favourite grounds. Chelsea's an absolute stunning ground, look at it, it's absolutely brilliant. So close with proper football ground. But I've got great seats this year, right behind the guy. I prefer to be down in the upper tier, uh, lower tier, so I should say sorry. Uh, I do prefer being there, but the last two years I've been up here. Last year we had a great result, we've been craving for that again, but you know, it can go either way. Let's get to it. I'd love to see what the Lions are. I'm not quite seeing them yet. I've seen my stamps. I didn't look at Chelsea straight away. It was only because I was getting off the train. But um, we could do this and go to the set. And if we could get a win here, that would be amazing. It would absolutely be incredible. But still, it's one of the hardest places in the league to set. And for West Ham personally, I think it's the hardest place going in the league for us. The hardest way that we're going to have in terms of uh, the game, how hard it is. But if we really play it in, there's no reason we can't do it. Anyways, guys, let's get to it. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm with Bailey, West Ham fan. How do you think we're going to do today, mate? Um, we're going to win 3-1. 3-1? Do you know what? I wish I had your confidence. Who's going to score the goals? Uh, Anderson scored two in and out of it. Oh, mate, I love that. Do you know what? It'd be great if Inaltovic could get the goal. I love your confidence, mate. Is this your first time here? Uh, yeah. It's a lovely ground, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? I don't think I've ever seen us win here. I'm honest. In all the time I've been going. But yeah, so Bailey says 3-1. I want his confidence, but yeah. 3-1, come on you wines. Thank you very much.
No clinical shots yet from either side, but we're just getting into this game. Obviously, it's either way at the moment. No shot, no two out shot on target, but I feel like that first shot on target is going to be a decider. Just, oh God, can take. Oh, no. oh my God, no, why do you want that? I tell you what though, it's going to be tough. We've got to keep fighting through this. Come on, I would take a draw here all day long. Chelsea with some flicks and some tricks at the box there. I honestly thought Hasbro was going to put that in the back of the net there. Was it Has I think it was Hasbro Quetta, could be wrong. But I thought that should have been 1 0 Chelsea there, to be fair. Well, point has got it away. Fabian can catch that. Yes! Come on! Chelsea on the attack. We had a good counter there. Frederick Schur moved on to that ball. I don't know why he didn't. Oh, oh Hazard. Oh, Hazard. Hazard's still going. Oh, Hazard still. Yeah, got off him. Got off him. God. That would have been terrific. Hazard makes it 1 0. He ran to the West Ham fans, celebrating in front of us. Look at him, manager. He's so really loving it. They've struggled to break this down. That's the first time. That's probably one of their first shots of target I've seen. They put it away. I did say first shot would get this. Ridiculous. Yeah, let him enjoy this. Chelsea on, Chelsea on the counter attack. Got Higuain in there. That's Hudson Adoy. Hudson Adoy and Higuain. Great having my Bob Wenner. Back onto an Alves. base. Glad on the other end. No, no, don't let. Oh, don't let Hazard. Hazard. Take Hazard out. No, don't take him out now. I'll tell you what, no, no, honestly. Hazard's put down a box. It should be a penalty in Chelsea there. We were lucky to get away with that. Very lucky to get away with that. Corner West Ham, come on! First chance of the game, great counter attack from West Ham there. Chelsea been all over West Ham this half, but it's the first chance we've really had. We just need something on this. I hope we just do a poor corner where we try putting it in and it goes nowhere. This could be a great opportunity. Just put it in the box, please. Just boot it high, put it in the box. Right, Lanzini bangs it in, that's a great corner. Yeah? Noble. Right, bang it back in the box. There we go, great. Declan Rice, Anderson, Anderson here, oh, hit it, oh, and again, and again, and again, Crystal keeps going, Crystal keeps going, oh, Fabianski with a great save, Crestwell should have been close to Hudson Odoi there, very poor from him, um, Fabianski with a brilliant save to keep us going 2-0 down, that would be the game over if they score their second goal, very, very well played Fabianski, very poor, We've got to pick this up. Higuain has just missed an absolute sitter. I, I don't know how we're saying 1 0 to them. They should be about 3 or 4 0 up against us. Alright, guys, it's half time 1 0 to uh, Chelsea. So frustrating first half. It's been all Chelsea. They've been a better side. We don't even have a shot on target. Um, I think it would take one moment of brilliance from West Ham to break them down. Without Hazard, I do believe this would be a draw. So I think he's been by far the best player. But you can't take it away. It's probably be the last time I ever see Hazard play. I'm just hoping we come to the second half, give it a good go, throw everything at them. We've got nothing to lose. Why not give it a good go? Do you know what I mean? So we should go for it. But most teams come here in general, don't come in and get very good results. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same West Ham. But so frustrating it really really is because this is a great opportunity especially how Chelsea are a bit all over the place as well this season try and get a goal back and uh, we'll see come your eyes how on earth how on earth we didn't get any guys that was unbelievable that should have been one all there to West Ham so much better now isn't it so much better. <laughs> obviously we are back on our scoring come on go West Ham Down there to equalise for Chelsea. Oh no, we haven't got that equaliser. Oh no, we knew it. Unbelievable. Corner West Ham, bang. Oh. 
Liverpool over Chelsea. We just got to get some. I put a chance on target. I don't know Man City had a shot there, but Nalvic was wide open. Hazard again, 2 0. It's just brilliant, isn't he? Hazard puts it away, mate, 2 0. That Hazard, I don't know that. So frustrating, we didn't deserve to lose. Well, I tell you what, we didn't deserve to lose much. We've been very good, I know, by well tonight. So frustrating, so late on. Full time, Chelsea 2, West Ham 0. Oh, Eden Hazard magic. So it was in Hazard one magic, absolute classroom in one. This Hazard put the goals away, gutting. All right, guys, I'm with Adam West South Bay. Who's sitting next to me? What do you mean, that, mate? Uh, I mean, they're always going to be a word, mate. Like, first half, we thought they were down. We didn't press on to it. We didn't get our strikers involved. Second half was better. They were playing a bit more for the fans, but the second goal is always going to come and we're pushing up. Yeah, that's all about it. It's so gutting, really. I mean, I thought it was Hazard Masterclass that won him that. Yeah, well, he couldn't control him at times. He's unplayable, good, good player, but he's lost him a good though, isn't he? Exactly, exactly my God, oh. my boy. He knows, this guy knows. Yeah, he's going Man U. Yeah, I hope going Man U. I can't wait. Thank you very much for coming on, my man. Yeah, we go again. We go again. So I'm back from the game now. It was Chelsea 2, West Ham United 0. Oh man, I'm so gutted. I'm absolutely gutted. It's so annoying. Like, went to Chelsea, probably got a little bit too hyped for it. It's my favourite away day. I always get excited for it. And yet again, been let down going there. It's no surprise at all. Um, oh, it's so, so frustrating. Do you know what I mean? Like, went to that game. I didn't think we played too bad. I thought Chelsea started off so strong. And as the game went on, I thought we grew into the game. And it was just... I tell you what, right? I I know that I know everyone's out there is crazy about Messi, Ronaldo, but Eden Hazard is absolutely class. Such a good player, and honestly, like you can sit there and uh, we can complain about like you know, oh without Hazard, you know Chelsea would never got a result. But you, you've got to look at like they've got Hazard. It doesn't really matter. Like we say that they've got the win. They've got the three points. We can't we can't sit here and be like angry about it because at the day we would have a play like we would. Died out at West Ham have a play like that. Like, he was so, so good. And honestly, I feel like, I feel like without, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Hazard in the sun, but I personally think that's the last time I'm going to see uh, West Ham play against Eden Hazard in uh, Chelsea versus West Ham. I, I, I don't see Hazard staying. I personally think that's the last game I'm going to see him in a Chelsea shirt, personally. I could be totally wrong. Maybe he won't leave the sun, but I don't see why he would want to stay. No, sorry, Chelsea fans. Just what I think. But, you know, either way, overall performance, I thought Chelsea the better side. I think Fabian's he yet again had another one of those games where it could have been a lot worse than just two. I thought it could have been about four or five. It was a fair result, annoyingly, I can't complain. And, you know, we go again and on Saturday against Man United, which is going to be such a hard game as well, especially how Solskjaer's got them playing as well. It's just not going to be an easy game. And, um, you know, I, I, I can only see the worst happening in Manchester United. When we go there, um, I, the best we're going to get is a draw. And I don't even think we're going to get that. We're just in such a poor run of form at the moment. And the worst thing is if we lose and Palace win their next game, we go to 12th. We, we are literally free falling down the table. We're not going to get relegated, but we're just going to keep falling, 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 falling until we can't lose any more games and no one else can pick up points. It's just, it's depressing. It's very depressing because I do believe we should have finished a lot higher. and We should be a lot higher than we currently are. What do you think went wrong for West Ham today? Do you think West Ham played bad for me? I don't think we played too poor. I just thought Chelsea are a really good side. My voice is absolutely gone at the moment. I'm just, ugh. Or do you think that uh, West Ham were poor? Maybe we had the tactics wrong. Maybe we didn't put a, our best lineup out. I was going to say as well, for me personally, I thought Anatovic put in an effort. I know I'm probably going to be in the unpopular opinion on that. But for me, Anatovic just running like hell for that ball. I thought he was literally putting in so much effort uh, against Chelsea. I personally thought that as well. Some people around me seem to believe that when I was sitting there as well. I was like, oh, at least Anatovic is running this week for it. I actually think he was really throwing himself for the ball. Uh, it was nice to see, even though he wasn't really playing that well, I just thought that he was just putting effort in and 
at the end of the day, it doesn't really bother me if you're not the best West Ham player, but if you're putting in 100%, that's good enough for me. I personally thought an Elfish did that today, but that's just what I thought. Anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. As I said, I'd love to hear your comments and opinions of the game below. I will see you all very soon against Man United. And, and all I'm just going to say is I'm just, I'm just going to have a pray about it, really. But yeah, right, see you guys soon.